Okay, so today's problem we're going to talk about is a simple acceleration problem. Um, the problem reads, a jumbo jet taxiing down the runway receives word that it must return to the gate to pick up an important passenger who is late for a connecting flight. The jet is traveling at 55 meters per second when the pilot receives the message. What is the acceleration of the plane if it takes the pilot five seconds to bring the plane to a halt? Okay, so again, of course, the first thing you do is draw out the system. Okay, you have a plane, and he's taxiing down the runway. The problem reads that the initial velocity is 55 meters per second. It says that the plane is slowing down to a stop, which would mean that the final velocity is zero meters per second. It says that this process takes five seconds. So from this point in time to this point in time is five seconds. Okay, so of course we're going to define some of the variables. Um, this is t for the time it took. We can find the change in velocity by comparing the final velocity and the initial velocity. We have a formula that deals with acceleration, and that formula is this. A equals change in velocity over time. Change in velocity can be expressed as the final velocity minus the initial velocity. So you have zero meters per second minus the initial velocity of 55 meters per second. And the time that it took was five seconds. You can work this out. You get negative 55 meters per second over five seconds. Okay, And that becomes, when you do the math, equal to 11 meters per second squared. And because there's negative up there, we have a negative down here. We can say that the acceleration of this plane is negative 11 meters per second squared. And that sort of makes sense, right? Because the plane is coming to a stop from a, a velocity that's higher than zero. Um, and that's shown in this equation right here, final minus initial. Okay, Simple acceleration.